It's been uh, a decade since we've been at the uh, the front of the field. I think ultimately it's people have made the biggest difference. Our, our racing team, clearly uh, the development that they've put on our race car has made our race car uh, extremely quick. And that's a combination of everything from aerodynamics to uh, downforce to tire wear to strategy on on the pit wall i think we've been on a great journey uh, since uh, austria 2023 but miami was this big step forward where lando won his first uh race of the year now uh, a couple wins in oscar has won a couple of races and here we are leading the world championship uh, coming into Singapore, but with a lot of racing still to go, and we know the sport can move very quickly, so we need to keep doing what we're doing. Right. You said Austria 2023, so I'll use that as a pivot point. What do you think is different for the team now, bef- after and before Austria 2023, that, that, may, that, that really perhaps lessons you've learned and new things that you've implemented to the team that have really created some of these improvements? I, I think, um, you know, like all things in life, when business is going good, that's a lot of elements. But if I had to pick one, it would be the leadership of the performance of our racing team. We, uh, we made a change of our team principal, our head of aero, and our technical director. So we've got 1,000 people in the racing team. We changed three, but those three were the ones that were driving leadership. And what Andrea Stella and his team have done is just unlock the potential potential and this great team the individuals gave them real focus and so uh, ever since we made that change you can see a straight line to the uh, front of the field and, and it all comes down to development of the race car backed by all the men and women at McLaren and the wind tunnel and simulation CFD and they're just doing a wonderful job and long may it continue. Now uh, heading into this race you're coming in with a slender lead of the constructors championship and Lando Norris has told us before that Singapore is one of the hardest races he's ever competed in What's the strategy for McLaren coming into the night race this weekend? It's, uh, I think it's the most difficult on the drivers. It's, you know, the, the weather, it's quite humid, it's hot. It's a very difficult circuit and one that uh, you make any mistakes. You're in the, uh, in the fence, as we call it, uh, i.e. the wall. So uh, you see the drivers. This is definitely the physically most demanding. It's a very exciting race. I think we just got to keep doing what we're doing. You know, no matter what lead we have, it's going to feel pretty Uh, pretty slim, so we need to kind of just one race at a time, execute, not make mistakes, and I'm uh, very excited with our two drivers on the grid that we'll have a uh, a very strong Grand Prix, hopefully go one better than we did last year. And finally, Zach, uh, I want to go back to that question I asked Lando Norris last year this time when I asked him if he feels closer to winning that his first uh, race. I want to ask you now, Zach Brown, in the same spirit, do you feel that the McLaren is closer to winning that Constructors' Championship, given the position you're in right now? Definitely. I think we've got a great shot. But a lot of racing to go, and things can change very uh, quickly. So we've got to keep doing what we're doing, but I like our chances.